lot of different definitions of neutral. I'm just going to show you what my definition is and hope that it fits well with your pattern of practice. So in defining neutral, I have four zones that I've narrowed the majority of my cueing and coaching down to. In uh, the DNS model that I was originally trained in and the Yonda approach and other methods, they give us a lot of basis for, for the foundation of these NZRs. But it can be challenging to say, I have to cue the finger, the elbow, the shoulder, the ear, the eye, whatever it is, to get the whole picture right. And I think you can get as effective and sometimes more effective of a change if you only focus on getting these four zones in neutral and then building power and demand onto it. If the brain is just sending a signal to compress your outer muscles, hyperextend, give you that neutral lumbar curve, you have hypercontraction on one side and undercontraction on the other side. I don't consider that to be neutral. I'd rather position them in whatever plumb line or other orientation you care to and say, in what exact position do the muscles start firing like a strong, neutrally balanced back? And that's what we'll call neutral. What I encourage the power lifter to do is first feel how large they can expand the abdomen prior to the belt, and then they strap that on, and they have to use all their musculature with that power distribution of breathing, and then they have balance to it. So you can't let the belt work just like transverse. It has to be something that you're working against to generate the power. I think it's a great cue. This is what I want you to know athletically. This is the angle of the knee that he can control in his deep squat. So if you have somebody that's struggling with balance, getting into a lower squat and sacrificing the back, you need to look at retrogeno and see if this angle matches the exact spot where they lose control of the deep squat, which is often the case. Dominance leads to inhibition of serratus and over-contraction of pec and rhomboids and you have that orientation. Yeah.